Hey, it's MI Wilderness. I'm uh, just out here at the park today. I figured I'd uh, try some different tenders and tender nests and some different uh, fire source materials today. I'm taking out the equation of the mosquitoes biting me and uh, the hot sun and uh, I'm doing it right here in the comfort of the park I got everything at waist level so it should be fairly comfortable uh, it is kind of breezy and the wind keeps changing directions uh, so I just wanted to eliminate all the variables as much as possible and concentrate on just making a a good tinder nest and blowing it to flame and also uh, a couple other things all right well first thing I'm gonna do is just try the uh, two different strikers I'm pretty sure this is mish metal that came off my mag bar and this is a ferrocerium rod on a couple different types of materials I've got here and see how they compare for lighting up an ember. This is just a plain old cotton ball. It's not soaked in anything. It is 100% pure cotton. And it is on fire. One strike with the ferrocerium rod. Let's try the same thing with the mish metal. There it goes. The mish metal, I'm kind of new to it because I finally just got this thing to work after striking it. I don't know, close to a thousand times. It's worn down about halfway and it seems Next to be working thing good. I'm going to try is birch bark. I believe this is yellow birch bark. It's very thin. This is the ferrocerium rod. goes. There it goes. The one nice thing about this mish metal is you can shave off some shavings. And that might help like you. which one's better. It's just me comparing the two and seeing which I like better myself. This are this is cigarette rolling papers, five of them. There that lit up. This didn't catch flame, it did for a second, but it does burn kind of slow. If you take five of those and you crush them together. It would make a good ember for blowing something to a flame, I think. There we go. Scraped off a little bit of the shavings so that one of the when one of these finally hit it, it would light it. 
and it's actually burning. It's not just smoldering. That mish metal is tricky stuff. Eesh. Okay, let's try a piece of chaga. I really like this for putting in a bird nest to blow the flame. It burns for a good long time. It's lit. It only takes one tiny little spark. Seems like I need to go faster with the mish metal. And the chaga is lit. I think. Yep, it's lit. It's just burning a little slower because that's a somewhat denser piece Blue of jeans. chaga. I wear those a lot. So, you know, let's say I'm out in the woods and, uh, I don't know, I need to start a fire and I don't have any dry tinder. I can always cut off a small piece of my old blue jeans or a cotton shirt, anything cotton really, with the ferro rod. I find it a lot easier using my bigger knife to strike this rather than this small striker. My hands are kind of big so it just seems more stable and I can have more control if I use a, something with a larger handle. And not only that, I can go out towards the edge of the blade and it keeps me from going all the way down and hitting the Well, I got an ember, but it didn't last. Fray it up a little bit, give it a little bit of a chance here. There it goes, it's on fire. Try and use the wind to my advantage if it would stay blowing in the same direction. My piece of smoldering uh, chaga over there ignited my uh, piece of dog bane cordage. I had to put it out. That chaga is about halfway gone. Oh, not even. Whew, hot too. Okay, let's try the same thing with the mish. This 
seems like even if you can get it to strike while pinning it down, the mist just kind of goes everywhere. Well, I'm not going to try that anymore. I mean, this mesh metal wears down very quick. And uh, I'm sure it'll light it. But it just sends sparks everywhere. Usually if I get a really good ember come off of it, the ember flies way over there like 10 feet away. Or it flies back in my face. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give up on the mesh metal. I'm going to try a couple more things with it though.